The two founders, Jorrit and Gerald, were both owner of a wooden box cargo bike and they had small kids and they would ride all over Amsterdam. They arrived with a sweaty bag and kind of exhausted at the soccer practice or at school and said, oh, this should be uh, different. They developed the idea but not the product. They had the logistics and the entrepreneurial skills but they needed someone to develop and design the process. And that is how they turned up with Vice uh, van Mansum, who was the original designer of the family bike. E-bikes was a new thing. It was uh, coming alive, uh, mostly aimed at elderly people. And they had this idea about why cargo bikes, why aren't cargo bikes electric bikes? Because that's where you really need it. With the extra cargo, you want to go to your work. You don't want to get there with sweat. You just want an easy, nice ride, uh, bringing your kids in the design you have like the appearance design and you have the uh, geometry and then safety is also a thing. We used the, the foam box which gave people a, a better sense of security. The box where the kids sit in is made of uh, EPP, that's a softened version of helmet material. So basically you're putting your kids in an oversized helmet. They're sitting shoulder deep in the box with a, a three point buckle strapped into it and it's really safe to ride with the bike. What our bike in aesthetics does very well is that it's, it has timeless design, it's still relevant. After 10 years it's still a nice looking bike. In, in its DNA it's still a very Dutch oriented bike. So what we choose to do is a seating position uh, where you're very upright and in a way that's the most comment we get. Why don't you have like a more sportive uh, uh, cycle position? But hey, we have a motor here. So you're going 25 kilometers or 20 miles an hour in the US. You're not going faster being hunched over. And the advantage of being upright is that when your shoulders are upright like this, I, I have a 360 view. Since a year and a half or so, we're dropping stones in Amsterdam on the commercial side of this. So we are um, selling commercial cargo bikes with big lockable boxes for goods delivery, parcel delivery, warm food transport with uh, isolated boxes. The delivery companies like Cool Blue, they ride around with 50 of our bikes in the big cities of the Netherlands. Delivering uh, within a two hour window, they deliver parcels to the consumers. You just swipe, you like this watch or this hat or this pair of shoes, you order it two hours later you have it on your doorstep and that's impossible without a cargo bike. A few years after the family uh, we introduced a shorty. It was uh, a spin-off of our modular system where we have a rear frame and a front frame that we can exchange. Uh, the idea was once your children are grown up you could switch to the shorty bike. You don't need to transport the children anymore. Now you can put a dog uh, on top or you, just your grocery, your shopping, stuff like that. It was actually meant as the e-bike to take stuff. And what we're doing here in Amsterdam can be replicated in other cities. Every bigger city uh, faces the same problems. Congestion, traffic jams, uh, people are fed up spending two hours a day just being stuck in their car. One of the common features in the company of Urban Aero is the drive for change. We want to change the world a little for us. Uh, if it's the designer or the inside sales team or the outside sales team, the marketing department, we all have the same drive.